Hi guys, today we're gonna read a story and our story is an informational text. So if you remember what an informational text is from school, um, turn and tell somebody at home really quick. So an informational text is, um, gives you information or facts on something. So today our informational text is called The Perfect Color. So we're gonna be talking about some colors. And during this reading, I want you to be practicing your best reader skills. And I want you to be asking yourself some questions during this reading, okay? So here we go. The Perfect Color. What can happen when artists think about things in a new way? Close your eyes and imagine a sunset. What colors do you see? You might see orange, yellow, and pink. You might also see a color that is hard to name. Is it purple? Is it blue? Or is it somewhere in between? This purplish, bluish color is brand new. You have invented it. And if you wanted to see the sunset, you and if you wanted to see the sunset that you imagined, you would need to make this perfect color. Artists are creative people. They like to imagine common things in new ways. Painters make brand new colors to match a sunset, a leaf, or a lion's eyes. Someday you might see a painting of a pink elephant instead of a gray one. This painter was having fun with color. So think of a time, maybe have you looked at a painting or something and something is not the color it's supposed to be. The art of, artist was being creative. How many colors are there in the world? 20? 400? Actually, the number of colors is endless. This is why anyone can invent a new color. To learn about how to make new colors, let's talk about something called the color wheel. So as a reader, I'm thinking, what is a color wheel? I know bikes have wheels and things like that, but I don't know if I've heard of a color wheel. Hmm. So we're gonna keep reading to find out what is a color wheel. A color wheel is a circle filled with shades of color. The most important colors are called primary colors. The three primary colors are yellow, blue, and red. You can make any color in the world by mixing the three primary colors plus black and white. For example, if you mix yellow and blue, you make green. If you mix yellow and red, you make orange. If you mix blue and red, you make purple. Now what if you want to make color like red, just a little bit lighter. You would mix in some white. And what if you wanted to create a dark blue? You guessed it, you mix in some black. Art, story, art stores sell thousands of colors of paint. Some of these colors look so similar that they're hard to tell apart. Many artists like to make their own paints. They want to use the colors they see in their minds, not in the stores. So we learned that the color wheel is kind of like this. And I'm sure that you talked about the color wheel in art with Miss Aguilera. So can think about that. Before artists begin to paint, many of them sort their colors. This helps them get organized so they can find colors easily. There are many different ways to sort colors. For example, all of the shades of a color red might go in one group such as orange red, brick red, cherry red, and sunset red. Another group might include all of the blue colors called midnight blue, sky blue, and ocean blue. Artists use lots of different tools to mix new colors and then paint with them. Something called a palette is a flat surface that holds blobs of paint. An easel holds up the piece of paper or canvas that the painting goes on. A paint knife is a flat metal tool with a sharp blade. Artists use a paint knife for mixing and painting. Artists paint with brushes of many shapes and sizes. Sponges are great for blending paints. Painters like to get creative with their tools too. Whoa, I hope you guys could see that. Now it's your turn. Do you remember that perfect sunset color that your imagination showed you? It's time to share your color with the world. The best way to make a perfect color is to experiment. Get your colors and tools together, sort them, and play. Painting is fun. 
First try putting different amounts of color together. You might want to use more blue, less red, or just a little white or black. Here's a new question. How mixed up do you want your colors to be? If you stir them a lot, you'll get one solid color. If you mix them just a little, you'll see swirly lines of each color. When it is time to do the painting, play with your tools, try using different sizes and shapes of brushes. If you have finger paints, smear the paint on with your fingers and hands. You could even try scraping away some of the paint after it is already on the paper. At the end, you will get something that is one of a kind, a perfect color and a creative work of art. Awesome, so I love painting. So maybe you guys, if you have any paints at home and you ask an adult at home, you guys could do some painting just like in our story.